Hey, it's Aki. Hey, it's Aki Anderson, your Brevard, Florida realtor, and I survived technical difficulties with Facebook. Apparently, they had some too, but we're going to get going. Thanks for being patient with us. We feel this is so important. We just changed the platform of how we're doing it, but Beth Dotson, I'm so excited to be here with you today. Very exciting. I appreciate the time you put out for this. So let's just rock and roll and get going. Yeah. I know that, you know, I've talked to you a couple of times now about Home Zada, but I'd love for our audience to know Home Zada, how did, how did you get this going and what exactly is Home Zada? Yeah, no, that's great. So I am one of the co-founders of Home Zada. I'm super excited about that. But um, one of the things that I ran into managing my homes is I was trying to figure out where the money was going and I was trying to figure out what I needed to do. So Many people, that when they're in relationships, they also argue over little things. Well, I was doing that with my spouse over air filters. That's just silly. So um, knowing what I had to do, where my money was going, when I need to perform these tasks next, um, understanding all the different things that I actually own in my home. Where is it? Because I've had multiple items in my home because I didn't know where the last one was. But understanding just better ways to care for my house and one of the things I did was I used to track all this data in either Excel spreadsheets, paper, and nothing came together. And it was in all these different locations. And that was really problematic for me, especially because I was in the tech industry. And so it was during the time when I was on a um, job site. So the previous company I worked for was all about commercial construction project management software. Bit of a mouthful, but it is what it is. And I was on a job site and said, there's got to be a better way to manage our homes because I know we can manage these job sites with technology because that's what I'm helping these companies use. So lo and behold, nothing was out there. I looked and looked and looked for 10 years. And then finally, we built Homesada. And it's all about managing your home in the cloud from taking a home inventory to managing your maintenance calendar to managing all the details about your projects. And then ultimately knowing exactly what your home costs you and what it's worth. Awesome. That is just like, you know, I've been educating myself and I feel like I learn a little bit more. The fact that I use it has helped me. It's, it's really helping me, which leads me into our topic of home inventory. Last month was actually National Preparedness. Is that, am I saying that yes, right? National Preparedness okay. Month. September yeah. is. So. Even though it was last month, I feel like this month, it's still hurricane season here in Florida and also fires. It's fire yeah. National Fire Prevention um, Month as well. Yep. These types of disasters, like I would think if you don't have it, your home inventoried in some way, how would, I don't even know how you would go to your insurance. How, how, how do you, how does homes out to help you with that home inventory? Yeah, no, that's a great thing. So because it was national preparedness month and yes, you are correct. There's still hurricane season. There's still fires everywhere. You live in Florida. I live in California, still fires. I can still smell smoke. Um, many people are still suffering from tornadoes and other things going on that we built the home inventory functionality for that very purpose. We wanted to help homeowners be able to easily track all the contents inside their home, but also components of their home. And a lot of people, if they don't track that information, then they have to go to their insurance company and they have to come up with a list. In fact, I've had friends who had to do this because their homes burned down, not for wildfires, but from weird, wonky fires, weird stuff. And so, um, and literally a good example of that is mice chewing on um, they were chewing on wires in the attic and it caused a fire. It was crazy, weird stuff. And they lost their entire home. And so with that said, they had to take a full year to regroup and write down everything that they had and do it from memory. And what most people are doing is once they do something from memory, you probably forget about 30% of what you own. So you're leaving 30% of what you own on the table. And let's face it, I think there was a study done or, or some sort of um, um, item, I saw it in an article one year, that we have 
at least 300,000 items in our homes. If you count every fork and every knife and every plate and every um, piece of furniture and every artwork or what have you, that is a lot of stuff to remember. So we wanted to make it easy for people to use a system where they didn't have to remember. And they can go as lightweight as they want to go or as detailed as they want to go. And for instance, within Homzada, they can walk around, and take videos. Let's say a hurricane's coming because that's what happens in Florida. They give you at least some time. You can run right. around and take videos <laughs> in Hamzada, walk away, come back to it later, use the AI technology to actually gain more granular detail and then go from there. Or you can literally invest time now and say, I'm going to take photographs of all the items that I have in each particular room. I'm going to take photos of the rooms. I'm going to take photos of everything outside my house because people forget about that, all the outdoor furniture and pools and landscaping, et cetera. I'm also going to then, the next step after I take all these photos, I'm going to take pictures of all the receipts or documents that I have pertaining to all these items. And then I'm going to go back and say, you know, what did I pay for it? And I can fill out all the fields. But one of the things that we wanted to do was make sure that people who were lightweight, less detail oriented to heavy detail oriented and everyone in between the opportunity to manage any aspect of their home inventory. And so we make it really easy. And the bulk of the home inventory features are free. I have a question. So how about it? A question right there. Yeah. But you said your receipt. So if I go to Home Depot and I bought a bunch of plants for my patio, and yeah. uh, can I just take a picture of that receipt and then upload it to Homesada later? You can do two things. One, you can take a picture of the receipt and yes, upload it into Homesada. Or two, if you take a picture of the receipt and then the receipt, because we have AI technology, will look at the fields and give you a review of the receipt fields and the Homesada fields. And it'll say, we believe that these are in these fields. If you say yes, click yes, and it'll fill the fields in. I don't think it gets any easier than that. No. I don't think so. So another thing I, I have thought about is, and, you know, I'm with an engineer, and engineers think of every little nitpicky thing Detail. on the face of the planet, right? <laughs> and he said, is this secure? Like, is, is my stuff safe? Like, I'm putting all this information. Is it? Like he thinks there's little people in there going to, what, how are you keeping everything safe in the cloud? Yes. And so um, you are correct. So it is a cloud-based solution. And we did that intentionally because if something were to happen to someone's home, hurricane, um, fire, tornado, et cetera, the likelihood of them having one, the paperwork is slim to none. Two, the likelihood of them having any computers is also slim to none or phones. The Red Cross tells you, that most people, when they're in a dire situation, the phones are not as important as everybody thinks they are. It's your family, it's all these other things. So we did build this in the cloud. So that's one reason. The other reason we built it in the cloud is to be able to access this information anywhere you are in the world. So you can access it via your desktop or your mobile phone. So with that said, we realized we had to make sure that we had a very safe system. And think about the contents of people's home. It's almost like a banking app. You have all these contents are worth a lot of money. So we need to make sure it was secure. So a couple of things that we do, there's a lot of things we do, but there's a couple of things. So the way the data is managed, it's what we refer to as distributed data. So it's not all in one server and it's um, spread out across the country in different server farms. That's the first thing. The second thing is we have double encryption when you are trying to log into the system. So you can't just sign in and say, okay, this is great. I'm going to have a password and a username. You need to actually verify that it's yourself. The um, third thing that we do is we also have high levels of security to meet the needs, not only of our existing homeowner customers, but also our corporate customers, because we do have some corporate customers on the insurance side that their levels of security are even beyond the average consumer needs. So we reach all of those levels at the highest you can possibly imagine. And then we also have, for those people interested in learning more about the security, if you go to humzada.com 
backslash security or at go down to the bottom of the homepage, you will see a, a button that says security. I invite you to go visit all of that because we recognize that people's data must be safe. And furthermore, on a privacy policy side, we do not sell this data. This data belongs to the homeowner. They can share it with their homeowner, their homeowner's insurance provider, with their family, with a lot of different people, but it is their data and they get to decide who, who can actually see it. So that's fairly secure. I, I think you've done a good job with that. Yeah. Let me see, what else do I have here? I wrote me some notes. Um, okay, so I think you covered being prepared for the fires and the hurricanes. Did you not in the explanation before, like you can yeah. just- I think, get having the a, like, I think we've covered that because that was one of my questions. Well, the other thing um, too is um, I think having a home inventory is one thing, but I think also while people are trying to get prepared, they can also take a look at how they maintain their home throughout the year. So if they have, for instance, branches that are touching up against their home, you might want to trim them back because people suffer from winds and high rains, even heavy snows in places like Minnesota that could cause damage to the home. So certain maintenance tips, which, which we also provide in Homesada, but also keep a first aid kit or, or a, um, emergency kit around. You can always look through that periodically. Um, a lot of people forget to do that kind of stuff. And if you have it stored somewhere in a cabinet, closet, what have you, you have it easily accessible. Oh, the other thing to keep on hand for people out there, fire extinguishers. You never know when a fire is going to start. That's true. That's really true. And I'll tell you, we do have days in advance when we know there's a potential threat. So we start doing those things yeah. and we start preparing for that. And the thing is, we never know what level it's ever going to be until it arrives. And yeah. so you really do need to be, I can really see the value of, which leads me into doesn't this then help if you have to do an insurance claim? How's all that business work with, with now you got home Zada, uh, you, maybe you do have something that happened, hurricane, fire, whatever the case may be. Even if mm -hmm. we have torrential winds that aren't even hurricane, a hurricane, but they're so bad, they could cause a tree to fall on your patio. Yep. I mean, lots of stuff. And you guys have lightning too, right? Lots of lightning. Yeah, storms. lightning. Yeah. Yeah, so, a yeah, you guys have got a lot of weather patterns that most people don't realize because other people may not have them. So a um, couple things you can do. So after you complete your home inventory, and hopefully you're doing this prior to three days notice of a hurricane or a, or a strong yeah. wind, and you're because you've done it throughout the year, submit it to your insurance company. And this is the preparation part. National Prep Preparedness Month was last month. This is what you want to do. You want to get that inventory to your insurance provider first to make sure you're properly covered. This goes for any homeowner too that has done a you do remodel. That prior, you do that prior to that's any, the first thing. That app. Oh yes, I that's the that. first thing. Share it that's with important. them. Because if you can share it with them, then they can make sure they have knowledge of what you own. And they can also make sure you're fully covered because you may have unique items that are not covered, or you may have done a remodel project and they have the old, the insurance covering the old house, not the new improved house. So those are two areas where I would recommend that you, why you send it to your insurance agent prior. But then when you're ready for a claim, and if you have completed your home inventory, you can simply provide access to your homes out account to your insurance provider. That's one way. Two, you can print a PDF of your inventory and submit it to your insurance provider. Three, you can print an Excel spreadsheet and send it to your insurance provider. Now, all of this is possible because it's all in the cloud. So you can go to any, let's say your house is completely destroyed. You can go to any library or what have you. And as long as you can get an internet access and you remember your password and your login, or you reset your password with your email address, then you can get access to your data. You don't even need to keep your own laptop or your own phone because you may have lost it in a hurricane. I think that's, I think that's like so 
important in this whole process that, you know, I see the value of that. But you just said something like you're, mm-hmm. you can share it in Homes Auto mm-hmm. with your, they have access to your account. Is that safe? So great question. So you can share your property with anyone, meaning your Homes Auto account or Homes Auto properties with anyone you want. Now, they have access to everything in the system. So if you do want to do that, then sharing your information with your insurance company, you just have to be aware they're going to see everything in your system, whatever you have in there. However, if you've got maybe a family member or someone else that you want to share the access with the system because you both have different responsibilities within managing your home, absolutely invite them and they'll have access to everything as well. Great. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, so I use Home Zada now. I, we have it on our personal residence and we have it um, on our investment property as well. And so we get those alerts and those emails. And I, I think it's, it's amazing because I, you know, I want people to realize you don't have to go in and set up alerts. Some people think that's what you have to do. It's like a program and you got to go in and go, oh, here's a list. A lot of people do a checklist and then you have to assign time. How, how are you communicating these things to people so they know what to do and when? Yeah, when to do it. Yeah, so um, there's a couple things that we do. So one, we send out a monthly email. It's like a monthly statement reminding people how much of their inventory they've completed, how much they've left to complete. We remind them of their maintenance task, any project tasks that they have. Not everybody's performing projects, um, but if they've got project tasks or activities, we'll remind them of that and then some financial information about their home. The other thing that we do is we also send reminders. So um, reminders specifically come with maintenance tasks, which we are gonna get to in our next episode, but maintenance tasks, because those are time sensitive. Now, just like you would on a calendaring system, you can postpone maintenance tasks. Maybe you're gonna be out of town and you're like, you're gonna do your honeydews the next week. Or you can say, you know what? I decided to change my air filters a month early because we had so many, from my perspective, we had so many fires, we had so much smoke that we changed our air filters a month early. We're gonna wait one more month, make sure the fires are complete, then we're going to change them again. So just little things like that, you can maneuver around the calendaring items as well. And then you can also assign them to specific people. When it comes to the way we also communicate to people is when they log into Hamzada, whether it's on their mobile phone or in the desktop, they will see a um, dashboard. And the dashboard is very similar to, let's say, um, Facebook's newsfeed. And so the the dashboard has a feed that will remind people of their maintenance tasks, their project details, if they've completed a project or they have warranties that they've decided to track and they're coming due. Um, They will also track any items that you filled out. So you've taken your home inventory, maybe you've forgotten to take a picture of something or put a price in it, like an estimated price or a value. We will remind you that that is a possibility to complete if you want to do that. I see. I had a question there and there just left my head now. It was about warranty. That's it, warranty. So a lot of people get a home warranty when they buy a house and they can renew that. So they can put that information in there as well. Like, you know, any one of those. Um, companies, I'm not going to mention any yep. names because then I'll hurt someone's feelings, but you know, company, they, so they get a warranty, it's for a year. They, they also tell you, but you could advise them to that renewal is coming up. Do they really want to do that? They don't do that. So that could be part of it. Yeah. So you can put whatever information you want in Hamzada that you want to track. You can put warranties of products when they're coming due and you can put a due date that 60 days before they come due, I wanna take a look at making sure it's operating properly, whatever that warranty is for. Two, 
you can add a warranty like your home warranty when that is coming due so that you can evaluate and decide you want to renew it. You can also mm -hmm. add um, tasks like um, one of our customers does this. He had a bill for his property taxes. And in the state of California, we pay our property taxes separately. It's not included in our mortgage payments, nor is our insurance. We pay all of that separately. Some states include them all. Some states don't. It all depends. But he had a property tax bill that was due and the late fee was $500. He forgot to pay it. And so he had to pay the late fee. He said, Hamzada paid for itself 10 years over just from me putting this task inside Hamzada so that I know and let Hamzada remind me of when it's due. Because everybody knows yeah. you get a bill and you put it in a pile and it gets piled up and you just forget about it. Especially a lot of us who are in tech, we definitely forget about paper-based bills sometimes. <laughs> I know. I, it, it's, you're preaching to the choir here, mama. Um, so I, I'm going to, I have thought about it and, and we're going to be wrapping it up soon. Um, how long does it take, would you say, to inventory your house? Just as a general idea. I mean, I, I know it's going to vary with each person, but I think people worry like me. I like daunting tasks make me not do them. <laughs> yeah. And but if it's I so true. Know, You're not alone. You're ready to talk it down like. People like me, a, a personalities, we struggle with things like that. But I think this helps us when we know how to do it and how we can benefit from it. Yeah, so you are not alone. There's so many people that feel the same way. And let, remember, we own a lot of stuff in our homes. So people get challenged. So one of the things we recommend at Hamzada is one, either start off with the things that are most valuable monetarily in your home. So take those photos or things that are the most valuable to you personally. And we have some clients that actually track their sports memorabilia. They absolutely love it. That's like the most important thing to them. Well, great, <laughs> track it. And then some people may have, um, uh, they may have, they want to go room by room. So let's just start in one room and we'll go room by room by room and we'll schedule, let's say a couple of minutes per room. And you can easily take videos, you can open drawers, you can take a bunch of photographs and all of that is really easy to do within a few minutes. Once you have that done, then you may wanna go back at a later date and bring in all your documentation and, and we're going to talk about that on one of these series as well. But you also may want to bring in any other types of details. Maybe you want to fill in fields about the item itself. You know the size of the room or you know the paint color that you have in the room or you know the size of the item. So maybe you have a 70 inch TV, maybe you have an 85 inch TV or a 50 inch TV or whatever the size. I know people always want bigger and better. When it comes to TVs, I don't know. But so um, you may want to actually document all that. But the average house, which is a 2,400 square foot house with minimal kind of items, it took us one time when we did this for um, a colleague and a friend, about two and a half hours to do the whole thing. And we just took a bunch of pictures didn't fill out anything, but we were also paying attention to being very detail oriented. So we took a lot of individual photos as well of items. So it really does depend on how big your home is, how many items you have in your home, how specifically detailed you want to get, but also how much time you want to spend on it. Just get started. And if you have family members and for those people out there with kids, have a good time, make a contest out of it. You know, have the kids yeah. go do it a little bit at a time. You choose this room, you choose this room. And they can then also play a role in the family of really understanding what it means to value the things that you own in your home. So one other thing I'm thinking here, yeah. um, just because I know people like this at all different ages too. The digital home and digital, yep. they think, 
it's going to be hard, but I don't yeah. find it to be hard. The digital shouldn't scare people, right? No. Because they think no. it's digital, but it's going to be complicated because let's face it. I just went through a digital episode with Facebook. It was complicated. So then people get in their mind, oh my God, I'm going to get this system. And it's going to be really hard. And they talk, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. it's easy, right? It's e I want you to reassure people, this is not complex to no. do this. We did, right? our, we did our best to make sure that we could include as much detail and as much flexibility in the system, but also with as simplistically as we can. Because Hamzada has users that are from the Gen Z, so they're now up and coming, the Gen Zs, all the way to people who are in their 80s and everyone in between. Most people don't realize that. And um, they're like, what? And I go, yeah, there are people. And I talk to some of my older customers. They'll tell me, I just want to document all this. I want a better system. And I need to make sure I'm getting prepared. Because as part of home inventory, within Hamzada, on a side note, you can also do some estate planning, and we'll get into that a little later, but you can also do some of that within Hamzada. So making sure that we build a system that has predictive analytics in it, some AI technology, some easier processes to get people started really helps them use the system as easily as possible. But we pre-populate a lot of stuff for them so that it makes it easier for them. I think that's important to know because I think I had said this before to me, taking care of my house is like a part-time job. Yes. There's so many things to do. And honestly, being a realtor and, and some of the things I see, uh, it is because they weren't prepared in some way. They don't know what they had. They didn't keep up. The, I mean, they're going to cover a lot of this stuff, but I see a lot of these things. I really I connected with you. I have made it a choice to be affiliated with you because I believe in it 1000%, not just for me, but my yes. clients, you know, I'm really passionate of, about preserving property value. And right. that's why I'm doing this series with you. So let me wrap it up. I have a couple. Um, what can homeowners, let me see what, I went to another page and I didn't realize that one. Oh, yes. What can homeowners expect on October 12th with our next episode? Absolutely. So in the process of home management and managing your homes, um, we're going to talk about the next step, which is home maintenance and the value it provides your home. And specifically, we talk about this with you, Aggie, you're all about preserving the property and the property value. Maintenance is a critical part of doing just that. Yes. Yeah, so tune in. We will, we are massaging a couple things with this series, but I'll keep you posted with video and notices because we really want to share this great information. I'm going to provide you a link so that if you're ready now, to, please don't wait, sign up, enjoy this. It's, it's free to get started, right? It is. And I just really think there's tremendous value and the home's out of system as a whole, but really inventorying your home, you have really made it clear, Beth, that it's really an important thing to do. And it's just all around great, not just from disaster, but from being organized. I, I'll tell you, it makes me have more peace of mind knowing things yeah. are more organized. And I, I'll tell you, in this day and age, with everything pulling at us, to have something helping you like this is, is quite valuable. I want to thank you, Beth, for this time that you gave me. It, it, I can't wait for the next episode. I know. I'm super excited myself. Thank you yeah. so much for Thanks, having me. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks, Beth Dodson. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.